Hey guys, Clumsy here. Oh my goodness, still bad weather. Welcome back to Microsoft Flight Simulator. At least we are seeing something. A break in the clouds, at least over on that side. But yeah, we are still in Asheville. Where we ended the last episode. I have done a couple of flights. But at the end of the day, we are here back where we ended. And the weather is no better. Actually, it might be worse in terms of visibility. Um, I'm not so sure if, realistically speaking, you are allowed to fly with this kind of weather. It does look like the visibility is way lower than what is allowed. But if uh, things go as planned, the weather should turn better as we travel along today. We are going to fly from Asheville, where we are currently, to... Hmm, what's the name of the airport? Moore. Uh, Kilo Mike Oscar Romeo, IKO code. So this will be the flight plan in Little Nav Map. And I have the flight plan set. I have not yet filed it in Vatsim. We will try Vatsim again today. I did see... Oh my goodness, thunder. I did see that we have a controller online. So we should get proper ETC coverage. And if you look at the weather here, you can see that each of the airports have the circle things. Different colors. For Asheville, it's the blue thing here which says it's uh, I think it's uh, MVFR yeah that's the one so pretty low clouds here and it's pretty accurate with what the sim is portraying but if you look at our destination here you'll see it's, the, it's a green it's a white uh, circle with green border that's basically VFR with no clouds so that looks pretty hopeful so for, based on the how it looks here, it looks like halfway through, somewhere in the middle of our flight, the clouds should hopefully thin out. Right, we'll see. But we'll, we'll try to continue as is, okay? But anyway, so here is little nav map where I did my flight planning. And I can press this button right here to get a, a text version of that flight plan. I can copy that to clipboard. And then I can go to vPilot. This is the app for VATSIM. And I can connect 361 Charlie Lima. Yes, let's go and connect there. Start working. Connected to the voice server. Okay, good. Ooh, there's actually someone taxiing there. Is that a real plane, maybe? Maybe, huh? That's pretty cool. Because I think I have turned off the traffic and everything. That might be nice. Cool. Okay. Um, that's a nice surprise. So, going back to V-Pilot here. We do have Atlanta Center online. That's great. Let's go and file a flight plan. Um... Let's not go there. Let's go to flight plan here. So we are starting off in Asheville, Kilo Alpha Victor Lima. And we are going to Moore, Kilo Mike Oscar Romeo. And our alternate would be, uh, let's just say we'll go back. But I don't think we, or let's say uh, there is a nearby airport, uh, Kilo, Golf, Kilo, Go, Kilo Tango. And I can put in the route here, remove the other stuff, the airports, and just leave in the route right there. That should be pretty accurate. And then I'll remark as a beginner, just so they'll go a bit easier on me. And altitude for today would be 10,000 for cruising altitude. Right, so from with that, I will uh, file it. Equipment suffix is L. There are there's a more detailed help file here in the VATSIM website. I probably am not the best person to to teach about this, but let's file that. F flight plan filed. Okay, that looks good. So now I'll move this here. And oh no, here we go again. <laughs> 
All right. But first things first, let's start basic. Oh my goodness, that visibility. Ooh, wish us luck. Okay. So let's go and start the plane up. Beacons are on. On air is tracking our flight. Uh, actually, not yet. Let's go and start that. Here we go again. I'm getting nervous again. <laughs> Trying not to overthink things. Okay. Beacons are on. Cowl flaps open. Let's open the batteries and the alternator. Good. CDI to FMS. Mixture full. Propeller high RPM full. Throttle open. And let's turn on the fuel pump. Your flight will be monitored until you land until and shut down the engine. That looks good. It's a very short pumping there. Open the throttle half an inch and clear prop. Almost forgot about the parking brake. There you go. Pulled the parking brake just in time before we shot up forward. <laughs> Yikes. Would not have been a good start. Alright, panel is on. Avionics is on. Our flight plan looks pretty good so far you will see now there is no ATIS here so I'll just press B so that we get the proper altimeter setting based on where we are um, the runway heading will be uh, I'm expecting runway 17 so that's going to be on a 167 heading I have my chart also open here to be to have extra um, visibility on what we can be assigned to like the taxiways and the the runways so we will start getting our clearance from ATC as soon as I am brave enough to do so <laughs> I'm just doing some delaying tactics here guys uh, bear with me okay so I'll get my notepad out actually we should tune in to center first so uh, one three two point nine seven. Now, normally, ideally, you would have a tower and a ground frequency in Asheville. So you see, I have a ground and tower, but and you have ATIS. But with VATSIM, that depends on the availability of the controllers. And usually, with small airports like this, you don't really have like the ground and tower specific ones. But if you have a center, they can act as your ground and tower. So I'll just tune into center here. And that should be everybody. Right? Am I tuned in? Yes, I am. So we should start hearing them soon. Let me have a look. Audio is good. Okay. Spearwings 50, Spear 2252, do you have the airfield in sight? Do you have Atlanta in sight, sir? Spearwings 2252. Has airfield in sight. Roger, you cleared visual approach runway 26 right. Cleared visual approach. Oh, here we go again. Right. I'm going to go ahead and take the ILS. Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. You're cleared to land 26 right. Cleared to land 26 right. Cleared to land 26 All the 1720, 5, 000, I can just listen to this the entire day. 1553, live in my airspace where the service is terminated, frequency change approved. And thank you for all the comments, guys. For all the well wishes and, and all the tango, congratulations. Tango, turn right, heading 060. During our first flight, gave me so much um, confidence and glad to see that I gave you confidence as well. So we can do this together. Let's learn together. Fumble things around together. Okay. 2503 Atlanta Center, you're clear to, max, clear to the Kilo Mike X-ray Flex Road Airport, Nassau 2 departs on this file. Maintain 10,000, squawk 2013. Someone's getting their clearance as well. Let's wait for them. Let's listen and enjoy the stuff for now. Atlanta Center, TVM 2503, could you repeat the spot? Two zero one three. We have two parts. 
And runway 26 right, sir. Information echo current. Runway 26 right uh, with information echo on board. Thank you. A Tango Tango field uh, coming up at your 12 to 1 o'clock and 17 miles of coordinate side. Delta 5230, radar contact, what's your altitude? Man, pretty busy right now. I'm waiting for the guy to finish. Okay, I think there's this. Down. So, for PO 66 request permission greetings to New York at 5. I think there's this common courtesy to let them read back the instruction before you squeeze yourself Sir, 40, in. 66 seconds. Lemberg 7917, contact Memphis 123.65. Contact Memphis 123.65, uh, Lindbergh 7917. Delta 5230, what is your altitude? My goodness, when will I squeeze in, guys? We have information echo, full in short of Fox, to the to 250 left. Delta 181, runway 26 left, text of your Fox, right echo. Fox, text of 26 left, Delta 181. Number it's 8, so Tango, busy. Tango, do you have the airfield in sight? <laughs> How will I do this? Okay. Why do we not hear the other guys? Maybe they have text mode. Delta 5230 Atlanta Center. Go ahead for Delta 5230. What is your altitude? Currently uh, passing through 5000 for 10000. Delta 5230, thanks. Radar contact, climb maintain level 350. Okay, squeeze ourselves in. Climb maintain level 350, Delta 5230. Number 8, Tango Tango, cleared visual approach, cleared to land, runway 6. Atlanta Center, TBM, 503, ready to taxi. Oh, my goodness. 503, runway 26, right via Alpha. Via Alpha to 26, right. TBM, 253. Atlanta Center, can you there? 49, 74, flight over uh, 3. Good evening. Aircraft call, what's your call sign? Commute air 4974. Commute air 4974, Atlanta Squawk 2075. 2075, 4974. Are we good? Okay, let's do this. Atlanta Center, Bonanza 361, Charlie Lima. Radio check, please. 5x5. Five five. Thank you. Is you comfy? Yes, sir. Atlanta Center, uh, Bonanza 361, Charlie Lima. Request uh, IFR to more. Kilo Mike Oscar Romeo. On Charlie Lima, standby. Commuter 4974, uh, radar contact, uh, 20 miles north of the Holster Mountain VOR, descend to maintain 111,000, the uh, Tyson altimeter 2985. 2985 down to 111,000, Commuter 4974. Spearwings 2252, pilots discretion to the ramp, cross the parallel runway. Cross the parallel, I'm going to the ramp. Okay, we're waiting for our clearance. Suspense is killing me. <laughs> uh, maybe I should edit these videos out, huh? Cut out the silent parts. You guys let me know which you prefer. I'll put in timestamps to ease the pain.
but yeah, probably will help with the length. 1720, maintain 4000. It is quite nice though, hearing all these things. Very immersive experience, even though my hands are sweating right now. Center American uh, 565 is ready for taxi at uh, Charlotte. 565 runway 18 left taxi via um, Mike Charlie. My goodness, props to this controller. He's super left busy. Via Mike Charlie, American 565. One man show. Uh, one Charlie Lima. I got you crunched when you're ready. Ready to copy, one Charlie Lima. One Charlie Lima, quick the mic, the kilo mic. Oscar Romeo Airport, Red Avengers Regal, then as file, maintain 10,000. Departure this frequency, squawk 2037. Cleared to Kilo Mike Oscar Romeo, Red Avengers Regal, uh, climb 10,000, squawk 2037, 1 Charlie Lima. 1 Charlie Lima, read back, correct. Asheville altimeter 299 at 3, and runway 17, call for taxi. Runway 17, we'll call for taxi. One Charlie Lima. Nice. You got it, guys. Okay. I'm not sure if I got the radar vector so Regal call? exactly correct. Ah, uh, Regal. Close Wait. enough. Right. So we'll get radar vectors to Regal, which is the first waypoint in our flight Delta plan. 1720 flighting zero, flighting three zero zero. John and we got cleared direct. Uh, got cleared to 10,000 immediately. So we don't have to Although do any kind of step climb. Our squawk is 2037. So we'll put that in. I was 50-50 on that. Glad I was able to read that back properly. Let's go on altitude here. Mode C, mode Charlie. Yeah, I think that looks good. 2037. Okay, looking good there. What else do I need to plug in? Uh, 10,000 to 293. Looks good. So we are ready to taxi. 181, hold position. I'm going to give a briefing here to departure and uh, I'm going to have you switch over here. No problem. We'll hold position. Right. Turn on taxi lights. Trims. Up. Okay, looking good. 17, 28 miles from uh, Grumpy. Maintain 4,000. Quit ILS from a 27 left approach. Okay. Atlanta Center, Bonanza 361, Charlie Lima. Request taxi in Asheville. One Charlie Lima, standby. Hands <sighs> are still sweating. <laughs> Okay, let's make sure that I'm not missing any steps. Flaps, no need. Trims are good. Prop full. High RPM uh, mixture is full. Although in Flight Sim 2020, that is a bit bugged. So we won't get 100% of our power in there, but that's okay. Uh, they did say runway 17, if I remember correctly. Yes, I remember reading that back, so that's good. And then we'll expect radar vectors to our destination, well, to the first waypoint, which is Regal. Good. Delta 1720, contact Atlanta approach 125.7. Should be a pretty Atlanta straightforward approach. taxi for us. Delta I'm expecting... Delta 181, Ju contact Atlanta departure 125.7. I'm expecting Juliet Alpha 6. Runway one twenty five zero three squawk two zero one three please. Something like that. So let's say this is two five three. Can you repeat what this sorry? Two zero one three. Thank you, sir. One Charlie Lima, runway one seven taxi via Alpha Alpha Six. Taxi via Alpha Alpha 6, one Charlie Lima. American 565 squawk. Oh, so two, that's zero, Alpha, four, which is this one. Then Alpha two, zero, 6, four, okay. Seven. That's Sorry, uh, 
Which that? More or less straightforward. TBM 2503, Good. contact at line of departure 125.7. Right, let's, let's do this. This is a bit of a different format than the last episode because we are leaving from uh, 4974 airport. Pacific runway, sir. So we have ground, we have tower, we the ILS and so they're giving us tax instructions. Uh, Roger that, expect that. Look, there's a plane right there. Oh, I think that's a VATSIM guy. And uh, commuter 4974, in that case, need you drop a little lower for me to send and maintain 900,000. So this is... Roger 9000 now for commuter Alpha. 4974. American 565, far runway heading, wind calm, runway 18 left, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, 18 left on runway heading, American 565. I see other planes there as well. I have to five, double two, check three, if the AI ten, is turned three, off. Two, one, two, seven, two, 5.7, thank you very much. Okay, Bye. so Bye. this is Alpha. Uh, good evening. Uh, Delta 1083 requesting taxi. Man, I'm super Delta loving the radio one. communications. Delta 1083 contact, uh, Atlanta departure. Now I almost cannot speak we'll because of bit. all the activities. You can just it's listen to this all day, right? Delta oh my goodness. Thank you. Alright. So this is Alpha. Alpha 6 is right there. We'll hold short there. And then we'll request for take of clearance all right here we go alpha 6 I doubt they'll be qua communicating with us we'll probably need to contact them because they're super busy my goodness I can't imagine how he can handle all that workload <laughs> oh. Atlanta Center American 565 is clear of 18 left climbing through 1300 all right, so let's hold short here. Take our time. We're in no rush. Make it 565. Uh, Roger, radar contact. Climb maintain 1236. Zero direct nooks. Okay. Up 360 and good. direct nooks. American 565. All right. Meter 4974. Fly heading 290. Vectors for lower. Roger, heading of 290 for vectors. Uh, Forty-nine. Udanza three six one Charlie Lima, ready for departure on way one seven. One Charlie Lima, I'm sorry, second. Uh, we're holding short runway one seven, ready for departure. One Charlie Lima. One Charlie Lima, Roger. Fly runway heading Asheville Wood one five zero four runway one seven, clear for takeoff. Runway heading cleared for takeoff, runway 17, 1 Charlie Lima. Good. Let's do this. So they told me to fly runway heading, which is 167 degrees. So we'll keep that and then they'll continue giving us instructions uh, because they said that they will be giving us vectors. Okay, runway is clear. So let's uh, position ourselves here and go. We also turn on heading mode here. Alright. Instrumentations are good. Air speed is alive. 73 knots is our rotation speed. There we go. Just pull on the yoke a bit. Steady climb. Meter 4974. I'm back a little bit to the north here just to bleed off. Tap the on the brakes. Positive rate gear up. Keep 167 on the heading and continue our climb. We have been cleared to 10,000 feet initially, so no problem in terms of altitude. So let's, let's just keep this. Going to pitch for 110 knots. Uh, 167. Go back to 167. Maybe it's best if I go to autopilot. Wait a minute. Flight level change. Good. Alright. Autopilot so that when they do give me instructions, I will not be too busy with flying the plane. And let's go to 110 knots here. That would be the perfect climb speed. Right. 
so keep this heading oh there we go the beautiful weather is starting to come up guys that is beautiful yeah it's just pretty low clouds in Asheville but no real storms now Commuter 4974 flighting 210 all those planes in the distance we can't see them on the radar though heading 210 back again with Vector soon, unless I have to check in. Bonanza 361 Charlie Lima, 4,100 climbing 10,000. Oh, look at those clouds. Going farther from where we oh, should Charlie, be. Charlie, much sorry about that. Radar contact, climb and maintain one zero thousand. Climb and maintain one zero thousand. One Charlie Lima. Atlanta Center, this is Destiny One Eighty One, passing one one zero thousand for one four thousand. Other one eighty one Atlanta, climb and maintain level three four zero. Three four zero. So one Charlie Lima, turn right, heading three zero zero. Right heading 3001 Charlie Lima. Nice. Meter 4974, 15 miles from Zorid. There's across the beautiful Zorid weather, guys. Stay away from that lightning. 300 on the heading. Beautiful. Now that's the scenery we would love to see. Okay. Mixture. Lean it properly so we get the perfect power. Peak EGT would be around. Oh, I cannot remember this always. I have to go and check it every time. So I'm leaning the mixture here and pulling the mixture knob. Just looking for the peak EGT, which is at this point 875. So I'm going down to 860. A bit, little bit rich of peak. So we have very nice power for a climb. That's going to keep at it. And a center, Delta yeah. 3831, heavy with you. Beautiful. Is that good enough for a thumbnail shot, guys? What do you think? Yeah, thumbnail shot for the win. Even saw the bit of the sun there. Go ahead, okay. center. So we should get vectors to Rigel or Regal, depending on how you read it. And then from there, we should be able to continue off our flight plan, our file. Planet flight plan. Center, Delta 3831 Heavy with you. It's starting to get very busy in the airspace, though. Oh, you hear that click? That's the click I don't normally hear when I'm flying alone. When I, when I have VATSIM, I hear that. That might be related to the landing gear problems you've been having before. You guys think it could be some sort of... One Charlie Lima, proceed direct Regal. I'm sorry about that, sir. No problem, thank you, direct Regal. One Charlie Lima. Alright, direct Regal. One, one Charlie Lima, 3831 heavy with you. Now, I'm not sure if we can oh, go direct like this. Oh no, I have to type it. Okay, fine. Let's type it. Yeah, I should actually put in my notes. FS2020 avionics, so that ATC would know what to expect. And probably most of the time it'll have to give me vectors. But let's try to go direct. Let's give it a chance. Atlanta Center, Delta 3831 Heavy. Any aircraft this net, Delta 3831 radio check. Activate. 
appreciate it. Delta Atlanta okay. Center, Delta 3831 Heavy with you. Now we can go to nav mode. That looks good. Oh, beautiful, guys. Look at this. That should be Asheville to our right there. You see all those planes as well. It is getting pretty bouncy here. Hopefully not the dolphin dance, though. You guys heard of that? Man, look, this is looking so lovely. I have one Charlie Lee, my line sir. One Charlie Lima, go ahead. Yeah, sorry, I had audio issues there. Proceed direct the Regal intersection. Are you direct there? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, direct Regal. One Charlie Lima. Roger, Delta 3831. Sorry about that. I had some issues there. Are you on frequency? Delta 3831 heavy, Roger, sir. Looking for lower for the chirp going into Atlanta. 3831, Roger. Approach the chirper at 13,000. Uh, information echo current. Well, that doesn't Crowd sound good. information big. echo in base 13 is uh, for the city. Right that should though. be fine. Uh, November 8202, are you on target, Dick? I think the controller got disconnected for right, a bit. Uh, American 565, you're outside of my airspace, ready to search, terminated, for exchange of proof. And commuter 4974. Uh, wind 210 at 10, runway 23 left, go to land. 23 left, go to land, commuter 4974. So, in the airport we're going to, there is no tower. There's only a CTAF, a common frequency, common traffic advisory frequency, which is exactly 122.8. Oh, wow, did you guys see that lightning? Yeah, the lightning is a bit exaggerated, I think. Maybe a bit is actually an understatement. Uh, 122.8. Let's tune that in so we can prepare switching later. Okay, now we are at cruising altitude. So I can lower my RPM down to 2,500. That should lessen the fuel flow. You'll see there. Lessening the fuel flow. Getting it a bit more economical for the fuel and also for my ears. So it's not constantly screaming at me. That looks good. And an, an addition, so we are starting from 14.2. Let's lean the mixture, pulling on the prop more. So the EGT is climbing, climbing, climbing. And then we reach the peak of 838. Let's go down to around 820 degrees. Something like that. Delta 5230, leaving my airspace for the services terminated. And that should be our lean of peak. And look at that. Fuel flow is now 12.6 from 14.4 or something to 12.6 is very efficient, much more efficient, and uh, we probably lost some airspeed there, but that should be welcome enough. Shouldn't be a problem. Things are looking good here, guys. So how far away are we? We are actually quite far still. I will just wait for us to reach uh, Regal. And then I'm hoping that the flight plan continues from there and that we don't get any funny stuff. Um, but if it does continue, then I'll bring you guys back later when we are closer to the destination. We'll probably be given descent instructions and whatnot. But for now, bear with me a bit. 10,000 on the altitude is actually pretty nice. Just right above the clouds. And well above the mountains. Delta 1084 with you, flight level 210. Local time, almost 7 p.m. Delta 1083 Atlanta, climbing chain level 30. Yes, I can level for Delta 1083. So we have 163 through the airspeed, 44, Atlanta, center, welcome but forward. only 152 on the ground speed because our we have 90 knot winds coming from the northwest TBM 2503 Atlanta climbing chain 1 which is turning up. into some kind of a form of uh, headwind for us there is a headwind factor so if you compute that we have 10 knots we're losing 10 knots of ground speed because of those winds 161 crew airspeed 151 uh, ground Atlanta speed. center to report 4 that's fine 
can't always win. Ooh, look at that lightning. My goodness. Let's have a look again outside. How are we at Regal? Regal. Regal is two miles away. Enjoying the views here. Thank you again, guys, for all the comments and all the encouragement, all the congratulatory messages and tips. It has been so helpful for me to muster up enough courage again to try this time. Hopefully for a much smoother experience. You guys keep Atlanta saying... Atlanta Center there for four radio checks. Yeah, the, the, you guys keep on saying that to practice, continue practicing and things will get better. And I also love what you guys said about the... Instead of being nervous, think about it as being of service. That's like, I never thought of it that way. Thank you for that tip. That's such an amazing thing. And uh, it's a service for everyone to help inspire others to take the leap and try. And even though me, as you can see, pretty noobish at this, but somehow I'm getting along thanks to the friendly controllers and uh, yeah, their patience and the constant learning that each of us are teaching each other so we can make this work. So yeah, the, the, when I get nervous, I think about that and I try to frame it differently. Instead of my nervousness and my fear taking uh, control of me, I try to convert it into how can I be of service to others. And I guess that's in the way of inspiring other people like me who are getting into the getting into the uh, into that sim. Meteor forty nine seventy four pounds. Roger five Looks like Atlanta is coming online. I see in the list of controllers Atlanta approach is here. Atlanta ATIS is here. We are quite far away from Atlanta though. So not going to be a factor for us. Man, but we it does seem like we are headed straight into those clouds and in real life probably this is not something you'd want to do. Probably want to veer off either over or under it. Yeah, but okay. And I didn't notice that, but okay, looks good. Flight plan is still intact. So I'll uh, leave you guys here. I'll uh, be back in a bit. Wish me luck. Cross Erlen, add or maintain 11000, Atlanta altimeter again, please. 2990. 2990. Welcome back, guys. Um, we are pretty close to our destination. Around uh, 20 miles away, less than 20 miles. We have not been given descent instructions yet though. I'm not sure if maybe they have missed us or maybe it's just right on time. I'm having a bit of inconsistency here though because in the live weather in the sim, it looks like it's still pretty cloudy here in this area. When I'm looking at the weather from NOAA, Atlanta Center, United 4587 with you currently there should be no clouds here at all. That is 47, 87, Center, hello, low both tanks. That's fine. We are almost there. Hang tight. <laughs> so Sorry, head back. Can you repeat that for United Four Five Eight Seven? Further Pilot discretion maintained. Flight level two four zero. There's also been a change in the controller. Pilot discretion maintained. Flight level two four zero. Thanks, United Four Five Eight. So I had to increase the volume a bit just to. Flight level one three done. Just to make sure that I we hear him. That's the controller. Now, how do I request for a descent? Hmm. Yeah, your cruise out is 2500. Confirmed. Roger, climb and maintain that. Okay, let's ask him, I guess. Atlanta Center, Bonanza 361, Charlie Lima. Would it be possible to get uh, an en route descent? Let's see if they heard us. Um, 
number one Charlie Lima to send a pop scratch and maintain five thousand. The Senate pilot discretion maintain 5,000 on Charlie Lima. Thank you. Right, you can clear it down to 5,000. Let's start descending. I think we'll have to do a bit of noise, noise dive here. Reducing to 250, Derek 4-4. I wonder if I can go 2,000 feet per minute. Delta 181 then, Delta 10 area southside, are closing, radar service terminated, fixed change to 5 feet, good. 5,000 feet. Good evening, number 82021 off center, fairspeed. Okay, ooh. There we go, yeah, still lots of clouds here, interestingly enough. And yeah, it looks like 2,000 feet per minute is good enough. Still within the green zone here in the airspeed, so we're Going beyond any boundaries. Going to 120 knots. Going to power up to it. I guess that's one of the challenges here and in Vatsim. The oh, voices aren't 200. very normalized, so sometimes you get them too loud, sometimes okay, too Roger, soft. Need to transition a little bit shorter, please. Uh, maintain C ones are not for greater, please. So we'll two see how that works. Gray, I cannot do two one zero. But yeah, sorry. Uh, that's why it gets too loud sometimes. Okay, so what I is can. The what is you need to make it loud enough for the controller, but that 200. makes it too loud sometimes for the other folks. Ooh, man, now, those clouds are dark. Over talking my Turn on body. my lights here. Let's be on the safe side. Cow flaps are closed. That looks good. Okay, number 8202, maintain best forward speed. Dasher 44, release speed 18, turn off. Reduced to 180, indicated for DER 44. Okay. Oh my goodness, that's dark. Oh, it's one one thousand. Sorry, climbing to flight level one. Delta ten eighty three or Memphis Center is offline. Radar for terminated. Fix change five hundred. Those are strobes. Yes, it's not lightning. That's a good. That's good news. Forty four turn left heading zero seven zero. Maintain one one thousand. Left to zero seven zero, maintain one one thousand. There four four. This is not the weather I'm expecting at all in this area. That is forty five eighty seven cross collab and have maintained. Might be a bit of inconsistency between live weather and uh, live weather in the sim and live weather in real life. Ascent ascent to VM two five zero three. Request six thousand feet, please. Twenty-five zero three eight seven eighteen six thousand. What approach would you like? Atlanta Center, Delta sixteen twenty-eight. With you, flight level three one zero. That is forty-five eighty-seven. Confirm crossing. Glavin at an eighteen one four thousand. Atlanta Center. Still in clouds. My goodness. Five thousand feet. Still in the soup. CVM two five zero three. Descend 6000 and maintain, and I prefer to land in ILS runway 15, please. Roger, expect that. Right. Everyone, Charlie Lima, what approach would you like? RNAV, uh, runway 23, please, if possible. One Charlie Lima. One Charlie Lima, fly present heading, expect that. Expecting RNAV 23. One Charlie Lima, fly present heading in the meantime. Seven, cross, Galavin, Adam 18, 1, 4, right. Let's Alpha see, let's go down here. here. Yeah, that's low enough. Let's go and select the approach. Copy, cross Gavin at 1, 4, 000, Nelson, 2, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 0, or Nav 9, 3. 4, 5, 8, 7. Let's go and uh, Dasher 44, turn right activate right that. Road. Here we go again. How does this work? Let right direct to room, there four four. Heading mode here, so we're sure we don't do a U-turn. Go to heading mode and then activate this. Okay. That looks good. Wait a minute. Atlanta Center, Delta 1628 with you at flight level 310. Uh, Nibki. I think Nibki is the best. United 1628, United Delta 1628, uh, Atlanta Center, hello, welcome. 
Alright, activate. Yikes. Delta 430, which climbing 11,000. That doesn't look good. Delta 430, Atlanta Center, climb and maintain 50340. Climb maintain 340, Delta 430. Ah. Alright, 202, contact, Atlanta Bridge, Front 2. We have the runway in sight. Go ahead to approach. TPM 8202. Asher 44, contact, Atlanta Bridge, 2517. Over to approach one two five seven Dare forty four. Charlie Lima, turn right to head in zero seven zero. Right heading zero seven zero one Charlie Lima. I wonder how this works. Yeah, let's do the R nav approach. That seems more exciting. Cause I can do like a visual approach here, I think, if I go lower, but yeah, I think this is going to be a bit more eventful if we follow ATC and see what how they guide us, how they vector us in. So it looks like they are vectoring us towards Nibgi, which is the initial approach fix. So that's the chart, that's where we're headed. And it does seem like we are headed straight there. So they'll probably give us vectors. The problem is, Delta, with flight sim 2020, there is no vectors uh, to final. So, uh, I'm not even sure if we can activate the glide path here. But I can do it manually at the very least. So we should have a bit of guidance at least. Yeah, th that doesn't make sense at all, this <laughs> spaghetti FMS that we've gotten. Yikes. Okay. Let's get back up to speed here. Speed things up a bit. CVM 2503, turn right heading 240, vectors at bottom. Yeah. When they said that, like, vectors to find. CVM heading 240. Normally, there should be a vectors to final option here if I remember correctly. Descend and maintain 3000. Descend and maintain 3000. TVM 2503. We have our lights on. We're in IMC right now. So we have zero visibility outside. So we focus solely on our instruments. Let's dim that a bit. And yes, I did find that finally where the dimmer is. <laughs> Okay, let's keep that. How is the weather like in more? Uh, at more, we have. Yeah, it says here VFR. It says no clouds. 200 at 3 knots. Okay. 4587, contact on approach, watch the side, let's go get it. 125.7, have a good night, sir. Thanks. United Airlines, 4587. <clears throat> Alright, 202, you there? Okay. Let's switch tanks. Alright, looks like we are going to get vectored to Nibgi. They should give us descent instructions soon. The weird thing is Nibgi didn't even appear here. It got deleted somehow. I think it, there's a bit of conflict. There's a bit of imperfection when it comes to the the G1000 mod in approaches is still a bit buggy in that regard. They tried to fix it and in some cases it's fixed but if you do more advanced stuff it still fails. Yeah, so I'm guessing we'll go straight here and they'll vector us around. Make us do a U-turn here towards the final approach course of 233 degrees. So let's see. And moving forward, I'll try to keep the video shorter, guys. I know it's very long. 
not very accessible to everybody but let me know if you have suggestions cutting off the the the, the silent parts when I'm nervous maybe that will make me more of a professional <laughs> we'll see but yeah you guys let me know Maybe I keep destroying it because I keep selecting an approach. So here we are going direct. Delta 1628, I'm sorry, say again. Descent on pile discretion, maintain flight level 240. Copy descent discretion, uh, maintain flight level 240, Delta 1628. Wow, it's pitch black. <laughs> Goodness. Can you imagine how scary it can be? Not being able to see anything outside. Thankfully, we have instruments, left, right, and center, to guide us a bit. But yeah, still quite... Uh, scary if you think about it I guess that's why you have a instrument rating so you can get to rely on these things okay we are going past Nibki now that's us so I'm expecting they'll give us vectors turning left probably somewhere here couple of vectors until we intercept the final approach course here they'll probably give us altitude instructions as well sorry that I need to be babied so much <laughs> but uh, hopefully the controllers are enjoying the challenge are they still online okay they're still online that's good that's good to hear it's good to see and if you look at Vatastic here, this is the map I used to know if the controllers are online. That's us. November 361, Charlie Lima. Oh yeah. And the airport is somewhere... Actually, we are near the border of the Atlanta Center airspace. Interesting. Atlanta Center, good afternoon. American uh, 388, depending on the Chesley 5 arrival for uh, Charlotte. So what I'll probably do to shorten the video, I'll keep you guys here in the meantime until they give us vectors. There you go. Turn left heading 3201 Charlie Lima. 320. Well maybe I won't cut it anymore because we're getting there. Uh, 320. Land descent is that for Delta 3351. Negative Delta 2021 cross Delta 2018 level 240. <clears throat> Alright. Delta 2021 Lana. So what I'll do is I'll set up the altitude, the target. The selected altitude to 3200 that's just to prepare myself when I get clear for the RNAV approach because at Windry that waypoint right there we should be at 3200 so I'm expecting they'll give us that soon alright let's slow down here and bring down my flaps one notch just to slow it down in the pace myself a little so I can turn fast, turn better, less of a turning radius or less. It looks good. I lowered the landing gear right before we reach Windry. And hopefully this time the landing gear extends. If you guys have watched the previous episode, <laughs> you'll know well, I'm scared there. Lights are on. Gas. Undercarriage. Not yet. Turn Mixture. Left. 
heading 180. Props, uh, we'll, we'll fix that later. I can turn left now, guys, if you like. Oh, there was a lot of activity a while ago, huh? In the beginning, right as I was going to request my uh, IFR clearance. So if you guys have any questions, let me know. I might not be the best person to answer them, but I'm more than happy to help as much as I can. And I'll point you towards the resources if I don't have the answers. So at least I can give suggestions. Left heading 260, intercept the localizer, one Charlie Lima. Nice. Okay. So once we do intercept that, we can follow it along. So I'm not sure if I'm clear. Turn left one two three. Intercept localizer. Delta twenty twenty one either. Okay, that's looking pretty promising. Atlantic Center, good evening. Delta thirty three ninety, climbing level one four zero, passing through eleven thousand. Delta three ninety one at center, climb and maintain twelve three five zero. Climb maintain three five zero delta three ninety. I'm Charlie Lima, sorry about that. Yeah, there's no one back there. We cleared direct to Nick B, crossed Nick B out of the 5,000, cleared Iowa from a uh, to 3 approach. Uh, cleared for the approach uh, 2 3, uh, just to clarify, RNAV 2 3 for 1 Charlie Lima. Okay, from RNAV 2 3, and it's crossing the at or above 4,000 treasure. Crossing at or above Nibki 4000 and cleared for the RNAV 23 approach. One Charlie Lima, thank you. Alright. You are. Start descending here. 5 miles from what go. East and maintain 2000, so establish on all sides, clear I left from the 1 5 approach. Right, so now that we are pretty close to the RNAV point, I'll just manually vector us in. I'm just looking at the chart here and eyeballing it. Alright. At or above 4000 on Nibki, we are far away from 4000. So that looks pretty good. The wind does not look pretty good. Delta 1628, cross off the atmosphere, cross the lab and out of 18, 1, 4, 000, the Atlanta Lunar 299. Okay, slow it down. Cross the lab and out and maintain 1, 4, right, Let's go to nav feet. mode here, hope that it works. Uh, 2990, Delta 1628. Delta 3, bird contact about 226 north compass of the. Uh, that seems like it's working, guys. That seems like it's working. Altitude, right, we've crossed yeah. Nibki. We can descend oh, we can the down uh, to 3,200 3, now. This is the chart. So we crossed Nibki at 4,000, as the chart implies and as the ATC gave us. And now we're descending to 3,200 to intercept the glide path at Windry. And we are well on our way at that point. Yes, looks good. Let me slow down a little more here. There is the airport somewhere there. Charlie Lima, the crowd is observed between you and the field. Your report IFR cancellation in the air or on the ground is frequency change approved. Frequency change approved, and uh, yes, we can cancel IFR. Thank you, one Charlie Lima. Charlie Lima, IFR cancellation received. Squawk maintain VFR. Your radar service terminated. Squawking VFR. Thank you, one Charlie Lima. Three landing gear. Switch to VFR here. So one two zero zero on the VFR on the squawk. And let's go. Able approach there. 
so that by the time we hit Windry, 26, 15, America 388, we arrive at Windry, we'll capture the glide path and continue our descent down. So now we have been approved for frequency change, so we'll switch to, to the CTAF. Uh, and then let's say, how far away are we? 2 miles Windry and then 6 miles from there, so we're around 7 miles. Um, more traffic, Bonanza 1, Charlie Lima. 7 mile final, runway 23. More traffic. I don't think there is anyone going to land in this area, but just to be on the safe side. Right. Speed it up a bit. We do have landing gear down. Oh, thankfully. <laughs> Three greens. Such a nice sight to see. Okay. Now let's hope that this works. Getting close to Windry. 0.8 miles away. I'm transmitting anyway when I move my I'm transmitting anyway when I uh, contact the CTAF there we go when that diamond hits the middle we should capture glide path now I think this should say GP if it's an RNAV approach but minor details there we go established on the RNAV good looking good so let me put the altitude to 5,000. That's the missed approach altitude. I hope we won't have to do that. Okay, let's do our checklist here. Uh, gas is set to the... Uh, not really fullest tank. So let's set that to the right, the fullest tank. Um, gas, undercarriage, we have three greens. Let's go full flaps here. Mixture can go full now. Props can go full as well. So if ever we need to do a go around, we have as much power as we need. And cowl flaps, let's open that as well for in case we need to do a go around. Alright, looking good. So the gumps check is done. And we have three greens and everything. All the bells and whistles. Yeah, we still have pretty bad visibility here. I mean, it's night, but you can see the bit of haze, right? But thankfully, good enough for landing. So let's announce our intentions here. Um, right. More traffic, Bonanza 1, Charlie Lima. 3 mile final, runway 23, full stop. More traffic. Good. So let me switch to the airport chart it's pretty straightforward this airport chart let me show you right uh, i don't think we need to care about minimums because it is pretty clear here down below and actually let me get rid of autopilot and do have a bit of fun with the hand flying just to get a bit of hand flying experience here now to butter the landing <laughs> i wish for some reason, I cannot seem to find the magic trick for this plane. I, I seem to always bounce a little, which kind of implies that I am a bit too fast on the approach. I am following this, the 80 knot approach speed, but maybe I should let go of the throttle. I should go to idle a lot faster. So I'm not so sure about that, but let me slow it down a bit. Do we have gust wind, gusty winds here? I don't think so. Let's follow the glide path. Let's say I am pretty low. And I'll try to make it a bit lower in terms of airspeed. I'll go for 79 knots. I did see somewhere that instead of 80 knots, 79 knots is the proper approach speed with the full flaps. So let's try and follow that and see if that works better for us. Man, that, this looks beautiful though, doesn't it? Even at night, you can appreciate the level of detail. Yeah, if there's something the sim can do properly, definitely the visuals. We've been getting so nice views ever since the beginning of the flight. Okay, we, ha we do have a bit of crosswind coming from the right here. That looks good. Let's keep that going. We do have the lights on and everything, so 
Should be okay. There we go. Just keep that. Right, and as we get closer, I will use my left rudder to face the runway. There we go. Rounding out. Letting go off the throttle and keep that as is. Landing time log. Wow. Landed at Kilo Mike Oscar Romeo. That was one of my best landings on this plane. I'm happy. That doesn't happen very often. Right. So if the charts are correct, there should be a high speed. There we go. Should be able to turn off from here. Right. Then once we're clear here. We will announce that we are clear. More traffic, Bonanza 1, Charlie Lima, clear off the runway. More traffic. Okay, should be good. We can turn off our strobes, our nav lights, turn off the landing lights, and we go to the parking area, which I think is here on the right. If I can see anything, that is. Now let's just go straight and find somewhere. I mean, I think we're alone here anyway. Not a very populated airport. But that was a good flight. Thank you guys for accompanying me. I think this went much smoother than the first one. Hopefully that thing is true that they say. That uh, the more flights you do, the easier it gets. Or maybe it doesn't get easier. Maybe you get better. I'd like to think of it that way. Because things becoming easy, easy doesn't uh, feel so... Doesn't make me feel so accomplished, but me getting better, I think I like that more. Hey, let's go and park here, guys. <laughs> right next to my house here. <laughs> I wish. Okay, taxi lights off, or maybe I don't wish because it would probably be very loud here. Clean up the plane. Let's turn on the floodlights here because I can't see anything. Avionics, uh, okay, looking good. Let's uh, turn off the mixture. Engine off time log. End of flight. Awesome. Registered in on-air company. Alright, everything got registered. I don't think I got any penalties. Beacons can go off. Let's not forget the magnetos. Turn them off as well. And now everything can go off like so. And we have a done dealio. Wow. Well, I enjoyed that one. Hopefully you guys did as well. Here is the aftermath, the debriefing. We have comfort bonus, safety bonus, aircraft handling bonus, night landing bonus, and an IMC landing bonus. All the bonuses you can think of. It's a very short flight, but I enjoyed it very much. And uh, this sets us up properly because the last job that we need to do is coming from here, from Moore, from Kilo Mike Oscar Romeo going back to the airport we came from, our home base in Asheville. And that is the last leg. After that, we are, we will be level 3. And hopefully we'll get access to more jobs as we increase our reputation, get more stuff. Although from a financial point of view, we are still far from 100k guys and only at 12k. So it will take a while because the, the VA requires at least 100,000. So yeah, it's going to take a while, but uh, hope you keep me company here in the episodes in the meantime. We can do this together. As we develop more, as we do more flights, we increase reputation. And I think that increases the number of jobs that are available for us. The higher paying jobs become available, right? Anyway, thank you for watching, guys. Happy to have you on board and uh, yeah, looking forward to your comments. Hope you enjoyed this flight as much as I did. Thanks for watching, have a nice day, and clumsy flying. Catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.